Hey dudes! And here's how to fix the black screen in OBS Studio. First, I'm gonna show you how to make OBS Studio run to your dedicated graphics, which is for my laptop, it's uh, NVIDIA. So in your taskbar, go here and show the hidden icons. I usually uh, set it to hidden and go to your NVIDIA settings. Then go to program settings. And right now I set the open broadcaster software, OBS64.exe to high performance NVIDIA processor. If you want to add open broadcaster, if it doesn't show up here, go to add, then go to browse. Then usually you go to local disk C, then program files then OBS Studio, go to bin, I'm using the 64-bit version of OBS Studio, then go to OBS 64. Just double click that or just click, then click open. I'm not gonna do that because I already set all my settings right now. Then afterwards, you need to select it to the integrated graphics if you're gonna record on your desktop usually, or if a program you want to record is running on the high-performance NVIDIA processor or your dedicated graphics, go here. Pro tip, so if OBS is running on integrated, make sure that the thing you're recording is also running on integrated. And if OBS is running on your GPU, also let your game app thing run on the GPU too. Because uh, OBS needs to be in the same graphics thing because that's how OBS works. Then if you do, if you do select that, you click apply. And that's it. But sometimes things don't really work out because people running the newer versions of a Windows 10, there's a setting in Windows where it overrides any settings you have from NVIDIA. So here's the fix. Go to start, then search for graphics. Go to graphic settings. And right now, I have set OBS Studio in power saving. If you don't see OBS Studio, usually you would not. You go to classic app, then browse. Then of course, choose OBS Studio again. Then change it on the options, click here and click options. By default, it will look like this. If you want to go to the integrated graphics or OBS use your integrated graphics, go to power saving. Or if you want to go for the dedicated graphics, go for high performance. Since right now I am recording this desktop and I'm using the integrated graphics because that's how my desktop runs, I'm going to power saving and click save. The graphic settings on Windows overrides your settings in the NVIDIA settings, so you better check that out after you set your uh, settings on the NVIDIA settings. Well, first, check the NVIDIA settings, then if it doesn't work out, go for the graphic settings in Windows, basically. So that's how to fix your black screen in OBS Studio. So anyways, dudes, I'm New Creator, and see you later. Also, dudes, I have to say that I found these solutions and I'm gonna link them down below in the description because I don't want to put them in cards because I prefer the description box.